Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope everyone had a fabulous Thanksgiving and I'm up this morning with an Alina Craft project share, a small AliExpress haul and a small Tuesday morning haul. So I'm going to do Alina Craft first and from that haul uh, that I did last week because of course I took uh, four days off which was awesome and I've used this set which is the Merry Christmas truck and the tree which says joy, love, peace, believe and Christmas embossed into it and you've also got this little tree here and I also use the Alina Craft postage um, sort of like stamp rectangles and I used the largest in that set and I also used a few of the snowflake charms that she sent to me and they're all different types in there hope you can get a good look different shapes and different sizes so first up my little tags and trying to pick them up because I did three um, I always try to work in odd numbers <laughs> Don't know, it's one of my funny quirks actually. It's got to be three, five, you know, seven, and there they are. You can see the embossing in them. It's just my camera um, never really shows a true shade of red or orange or yellow, come to think of it, but it is there. And I hope I can get a close up. Let's see if we can scan in and scan out. There you go. So you can see that lovely embossing there. And I just added the little snowflake charms onto this baker's twine. And I did one in silver. So three really, really cute tags. And I will measure those. Of course, you can pop it onto a card. But I just thought it would look really sweet to punch a hole through the star that I popped at the top. And uh, just make package tags. So that is almost what well it is. It's three and three quarter inches. So it's a really nice size for a package tag. So I made three of those and then I did the Christmas truck and tree, which comes in that set and did it as a card on its own. And once again, we're not getting a true shade of red here. And my camera's a bit blurred for some weird reason. Oh, oh, that's not bad, is it? Now you can see all the details on it and that striped paper in the background there, that lovely glazed glitter is from the North Pole pack from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to measure that truck. Really, really easy to cut out. I mean, sometimes things like that, they're a little bit intricate, just shy of four inches. Um, there can be a problem to poke out, but that just went through. I just ran it forward, ran it back, and all the bits just dropped out. And from the wheel to the top of the roof there, we've got just a fraction over one and a half inches. So just a really, really simple card. I mean, it's got the Merry Christmas on the truck, and I'm likely to put Merry Christmas in white up there to finish it off. But a lot of times I do tend to make things without adding my sentiments because um, I'm not really sure who I'm sending it to or what have you. And because I make cards that go to an elderly people's home, I like to think sometimes that they can add whatever they want on there just to finish them off. Right now, next up is my small AliExpress haul and I got these. These are absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Aren't they sweet? They're like furry, furry. <laughs> and then they're finished on the back. Gorgeous on a Christmas card or a tag. They've got a little diamante, all blurred again. Diamante necklace. And then you've got the bead and you've got the little um, felt tassels in their hair. They're just super, super cute. I mean, that on its own, on a little embossed oval in the middle of a card, and you've got a finished card if you didn't want to do anything else. But they're just super, super cute. So I got those, and you get four of those in a set. And then I got myself another silicon mould. <laughs> this time it's an ornament or a tag. It's a gorgeous size, and you've got this snowflake in the bottom, which is raised, so that you can 
pour in one color and then you can fill the snowflake area in with a different color which is always useful because uh, I like things that are easy when it comes to silicon molds and that one is it's just straightforward and you can see how deep it is look at that really lovely quality and then next up I finally got my Christmas baubles on string there they are Christmas baubles on twine or Christmas bulbs they are just absolutely gorgeous and perfect for draping on tags and cards and those little mini uh, bottle brush trees that you can get and the colours are actually showing true here you've got a lovely turquoise blue and that isn't a shocking pink and then you've got a sort of like golden orangey copper and you've got silver gold and you've got green on there but they're really really lovely so I got those and I think it's 16 and a half feet of uh, twine you get which is awesome I can't remember how much I paid I think it was four dollars with free shipping and um, if you go into Hobby Lobby or something like that you probably get about 12 inches for 2 99 so it's a really really good buy right I'm just going to pause for a minute while I get my Tuesday morning haul onto the table okay so here we go and first up is a 12 by 12 page kit called farmers market and uh, it's we are memory keepers it tells you there and it was 3.99 which uh, is a really good buy it should have been 10.99 but you can actually see uh, the papers that you get in there. They're all lovely colours. And of course you get the sticker sheets, the alphabet and those. And if I flip it over, you can see the cutter parts, which are really, really cute. So really, really like that. Really love those papers. I'll just drop my ruler on the floor and it can stay there for a minute. <laughs> and you can see 700 pieces. Right, next up I got the um, Pink Paisley Lucky Us Pad, which is sort of like St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day kind of melded in together. And if I turn it on its side here... I'm hopefully going to be able to show you some of the papers without blinding you. And I think it's three sheets um, of each. And of course, it's pink paisley, so it's lovely quality. There you've got a checker and you've got the um, sort of like candy love hearts there with the words on. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Silver foil and candy pink stripe. You could use that for Christmas as well. And then we've got hearts. These are actually all different sheets. And then we've got a candy stripe. And then we've got a silver kiss kiss, as I like to call it. And then you've got roses. You've got little hearts on um, white. And then you've got metallic and bold hearts there. That's a great pattern. And here's your St. Patrick's Day with your sort of clover and your hearts and then you've got a deck of cards you can fussy cut those out and then you've got silver foil well not silver foil it's that um what's it called where you get all those different colors going through it abalone kind of effect so you've got that sort of printing into that and then you've got one that's perfect for spring tulips and daisies and then there's a yellow stripe and then you've got a silver hearts holographic that's the word i was looking for onto a pale pink and then you've got some lovely roses and then there's a sort of geometric in those um, shades again and then you've got the um, cutter parts which have also got that holographic foil on them really lovely tiny little check yeah and then we go back again all the way through so what you actually get if I flick through this off to the side 
is you're getting two sheets of each design and you're getting um, another sheet of cut aparts, which is awesome. So that is the Pink Paisley Lucky Us 12 by 12. So I got that one and trying to keep it organized by size. I got myself these uh, mixed media books. These are King Art, uh, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And these were, let's have a look, $6.99 for two. That's really good, actually. It's 160 GSM, which is a reasonable quality paper. And there are, I think, 60, yeah, 60 sheets in each pad. So that's really, really good. Very happy with that. And then I got the six by eight um, cake smash, which is gorgeous. Look at how bright and bold those colors are. It's just lovely. I just love that plaid. I am a plaid person anyway, but I just wanted to show you how bright and happy. Absolutely fabulous for birthday cards. And I'm glad that you get lots of that plaid. I don't think... Oh, yeah, you get four of each sheet. And there are 24 sheets in total. So it's your dots and your stars. You've got your words on there. Just a really, really lovely pad. If they'd have had another one of those, I would have gotten it. And then I got a Simple Stories 6x8 called Best Year Ever. And... It's got one of those stickers on the bottom, so I just need to go in there with my scissors for a second and just cut that so I can flick through. And let's have a look. You've got a nice bold piece. That's great for uh, the front of a journal, actually. You've got holly. This is seasonal. You've got stars. You've got hearts. You've got Halloween cut aparts. So it's just really um, going through the seasons, obviously, best year ever. And you've also got the fireworks for the 4th of July. Sorry about that. You've got rabbits. You've got St. Patrick's, snowmen. You've got Valentine's Day. You've got that great autumn flower splash pattern. And then you've got Happy Fall, y'all, which is a, a nice one. Another one that's great to do for... Um, a planner page and this I mean you could just put a planner page die on there and just cut the whole thing out gorgeous plaid again and then we've got a bike that says happy spring I do apologize for my camera really like that that would look cute in a frame actually just off to the side for Christmas so that one is the best year ever and that one just like the um, cake smash 399 so really love that and I finally got myself some of these <laughs> these are 5 99 and as you can see they cut a fringe in one pass you get lots of fringy bits so I've never used them before I have got my scissors here so let's have a demonstration because it's nice when you cut in a fringe sometimes I'll just snip it with my scissors but it's not always perfect and accurate. There is a lot of weight to those. So I'm just going to cut that there and see what happens. There you go. <laughs> I have fringed the packaging. So I'll just pop that back into there. But they're American Craft Scissors, which is the same company as We Are Memory Keepers. So those were $5.99 instead of $10.99. And I also got a Quick Cuts for $1.99, a teeny weeny little tag. And you actually get the um, expulsion foam with this, which is you put it on there and then you uh, do a cut and that foam stays there. So it will eject everything that you cut. And I really wish somebody would find out what this is and... Um, sell it in big sheets because I think a lot of people would love to use that on some of their intricate dies but I don't think quick cuts exists anymore I mean if I'm wrong you know you can tell me but um I thought they'd gone out of business about five years ago 
maybe not <laughs> but I do have a lot of their older dies the long um I think they were 12 inches long the cookie cutter dies and uh, I've still got them and I really love them when I get them out but it's just a really sweet little tiny tag with a little flower and as I said that was a dollar 99 I also got some pink glitter uh, adhesive tape and you get I think it's five yards on each roll and that was three dollars forty nine and should have been seven ninety nine now actually you get five yards on each roll yeah that's what I just said isn't it so that's really really pretty and I just want my camera to behave it doesn't really like to look at sparkly stuff and then I got two crafters companion boxes. So I'm going to pause again to move this because those boxes are too big. Okay, so this one is my first box and it's the stencil kit and it comes with 185 elements and it was $12.99. I think these normally retail for $29.99 and it's got a sticker on it. So... I'm going to cut through that sticker and let's find out what's inside this box. Let's see what we've got for $12.99. Here goes. Let's open it up. Turning it off to the side here. Hopefully you've got a good close-up. Right, so we've got a thank you for your purchase card. And you've got it very nicely wrapped in Crafters Companion tissue paper. I'm going to open that. Ooh. And we've got stamps. Well, those are pretty so we've got a set of stamps with all that on there i mean a set of stamps like that would be like two or three bucks and then there are watercolor cards tags and i think there's 10 of those so that's really nice and then we've got some pre-cut sentiments and tags and toppers i don't know how many of those you get but those are die cut toppers and they've got gold foil on so that's nice ah there's the stencils wow you've got lots of stencils Ooh, let's open that let's find out how many stencils you get oh and they're all individually wrapped as well so there's one and we've got a flower and a fern there's two We've got a dot. I do like dots. Three is a, a sort of flower sprig. Four is a honeycomb. Five is a smaller dot. Six is a kind of Persian sort of star. Seven is a um, sort of like brock pattern. Eight roses. I do like that rose. I hope you can see that. Flowers and leaves. Nine is a kind of crackle mosaic one. I really like that. And then ten is a kind of random little blossoms and tulips. So ten stencils. That's good. And then we've got envelopes. I think there's ten envelopes. No, five cards. Yeah, is that right? No, actually, I think it's five. I think it's fifteen different sizes of envelopes, and then you've got fifteen different sizes of cards. Wow, that's really good. I'm quite shocked actually as to how much you get, and then extra sheets of watercolor paper. And looking at it, I think there's five in there. Really nice texture. And then we've got some coloured cardstock in all different colours. And we've also got some black cardstock. Wow, that's quite impressive actually for $12.99. I mean, just those stamps alone, um, as I just said, would like be what, three or four bucks from where we normally get our stamps from. And 10 stencils, that's really, really good. In fact, I think we should use this uh, box for uh, the tutorial tomorrow and see what we can make. 
and I'll pop that in and I'll wrap it up again to keep it all together and I'll get the other box. So this box was called uh, just the stencil craft kit. So $12.99, you're getting an awful lot of stuff in there. Right. My next one, if I pick up my glossy accents, which just rolled over the table, is called Everyday Cards Kit. And it makes a minimum of 20 cards and you get 400 elements in this. And I'm just wondering, yeah, it's got another sticker on the bottom. So I'm just going to cut that off. See what I've got going on here and open it out. And you do get um, you get the image on the box and you've got the thank you again more tissue wrap oh that's pretty 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 you've got pearls and gemstones that are all lovely pastel shades i mean i don't know you'd probably pay um a dollar or a dollar 99 each for these wouldn't you you've got the buttons that match and then there are three sizes of ribbon you've got a larger width a medium and a narrow width and all of that ties in and then we have dies so you've got a gorgeous little frame die there you've got the flower you've got a pretty border you've got a corner and you've got two little sort of tag banners that's really cute I mean, that's something you'd spend four or five bucks on. And then we've got some pretty um, baker's twine in a powder sort of pink and white. And then we've got the envelopes and we've got card blanks that are already um, pre-cut. You've got the banners there, look. Oh, they're all ready to go. And these are all fancy cut, ready for you to lay your dies onto as well. That's really, really good. I'm very impressed. And then we've got some, are they foam? No, those cardstock um, sentiments ready cut and ready for you to color up and pop out. Those are in there. And then we've got a pretty paper pack, which will be all different florals, I'm sure. In fact, let's open it and, and take a look. Because in the other box, it was like solid blocks of cardstock. So this is um, reasonable weight cardstock. And it's in really soft colours. Which I guess ties in with that palette there of um, having all of those pastels. So just getting my fingers in there. You've got a lot of uh, laces. And there's hearts. Just really, really pretty. I am impressed. And then we have colour card stock in the bottom, which is lemon, blue, that green on the top there, and also a pastel pink. So card stock, printed card stock, sentiments, cards already pre-cut with the apertures. And you've got the envelopes to go with it. We've got the twine, we've got the dies, we've got three widths of ribbon, we've got buttons, gems and pearls. That's brilliant. That was uh, a really good buy. So if I ever see these in Tuesday morning again, I remember to keep a list of uh, which ones I'd already got and I would certainly, certainly buy those again totally worth it and uh, let's use one of those boxes for the tutorial tomorrow right well i do thank you for joining me today and as i said i hope you had a fabulous thanksgiving um the competition i've already announced to people last week but just a reminder i did extend it by 10 days to those who still hadn't received their dies yet but on the 7th of December, that's when it ends. It has to end on the 7th of December. And I will be calling the winner on the 8th of December on this channel. 
so just make sure you're here for that don't miss it if you've entered and i do thank you and fully appreciate all those who have entered and i'm busy sorting those dies out to make sure they're all going into solid boxes because uh, it's a very heavy price <laughs> right you have an absolutely awesome day as usual all links below and i'll see you tomorrow and let's see what we can do out of one of those boxes bye